Oh, finishing my room. I knew I was going to say that. that. That I don't needs talk to be about done it, next year. That's my biggest. That for too long. But yeah, that. <laughs> I was going to say that that's my biggest goal this year. My name is Talia Grant. Talia Grant. Talia Vanessa Grant. <laughs> I play Brooke Hathaway. Brooke Hathaway. I've been on Hollyoaks for a year and a half, basically. I started in April, I believe. And so it's almost been three years. The last person I called on my phone was my dad asking for vegan sausage roll, I think. It was really good. I had to heat it up myself though, but that's fine. We don't mind, it tasted great. My mum. <laughs> I don't know why. Any any minor inconvenience, I just call my mum straight away or anything. Uh, at the moment, I'm watching Sex Education and it's so good, oh my gosh. Like, I'm not ready to end this, so I need to slow down. <laughs> I just need to take a step back. Uh, it's really good and my sister is in the second episode. So yeah, shout out to her. Oh, I look so little. I actually don't look like that little, but I look really cute. Um, and I know how excited I was, and I did finish it really fast. Anything with Gillian Anderson in, I'm watching it. Um, I just finished watching The Fall. Um, I was watching Shameless for a little bit, the US version, um, and now I'm watching The Crown. Oh, my dad becoming an MB, member of the British Empire. Trump leaving office, I'd have to say, that's probably the best news I've heard. Um, don't know what's to come, but that was just a bit of a <sighs> moment. Oh my gosh, and my mom's MBE this year. How could I forget? Yeah, congrats to my mom. Um, it's so funny that they got it like a year after each other. It's really cool. I think coming out um, to people um, has been probably the biggest achievement, like coming out as non-binary. That's probably been like one of the biggest transitions in my life and also the biggest achievement. My greatest achievement of the year is probably being nominated um, in five, the five awards and probably, well, this has been my first year that I haven't been in hospital um, for like a long time so that's probably my greatest honestly that is my greatest achievement yeah I mean it is amazing and like life has got easier from that even if it has been difficult like I'm still two years like having gone to hospital I mean not having gone to hospital and I am super proud of that and I never forget where I've come from but I also use it as a tool to remind myself how strong and resilient I can be and it still remains like a very very big deal to me. I don't like giving myself like a time stamp because there are so many things that I want to do and it's hard to like pick and choose um, and say which one I'll finish by this time next year because I might like go on to another project and then that will become something I'm interested in, so. Oh, finishing my room. I knew I was gonna say that. That, that needs to be done it, next year. That's I would my do biggest. that for too long. But yeah, that. <laughs> I was gonna say that that's my biggest goal this year. I didn't finish it, but lockdown happened. So I'm just gonna blame it on that. <laughs> I'm still finishing it. I, I got a desk actually this year, so no, this week, I mean. So I have made a lot of progress. I haven't finished it. So I'm glad that I said that I didn't give myself a timestamp because that would have given me <laughs> kind of anxiety. So uh, yeah, my biggest goal this year is still finishing my room. These years are very, um, influential and she's like finding herself but it's difficult to do that when she's also battling the external world and so I think that the way she views life right now is to just get through it. 
I think that her attitude to life right now is just getting by and going I said the same thing. What she's going through and trying to find like the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Yeah, and I do think that that is just Brooke's character. Um, trying to see the positive and trying to see the solution and the outcome um, But I feel like what's different now is that she's actually looking within more than just outside and And trying to get through the outside. It's also battling With herself. I think that at the moment um, Brooke and Ollie's relationship um, There's been lots of you know uh, obstacles in their way and I think that right now it's about like stri striving striding forward for Brooke so um, it's slightly I think it's quite sensitive right now extremely complicated um, I think that again like it's almost like life is just throwing its problems at Brooke. So, of course, she's broken up with Ollie. Um, and now uh, she's doing a thing with Imran. And it's interesting because I feel like... Um, I feel like Brooke isn't fully over everything. And not as in she's not over Ollie, but over the stress that comes with the relationship. Following her gut and intuition um, with her pregnancy, I think has been her best decision. The best decision Brooke has made this year is probably leaving Ollie, I'd say, because I feel like it would be quite destructive if she had stayed in that situation and I think that she left when she should have left and I really respect her for giving it a go um, but I think that's probably one of the best decisions that Brooke has made and it's annoying because I love working with Gabriel so <laughs> we're not together anymore but yeah the advice I would give to Brooke is to just keep doing what you're doing you're doing amazing sweetie <laughs> um listen to yourself and be kind she is already kind but you know just keep being kind basically um i think she did follow that advice actually i'm very surprised at the fact that she followed that advice advice i would give brooke now this is just a chapter of your life and it can feel like your whole life and it can feel like this is it but the only thing that is certain is that nothing is certain so just keep going there's there's better out there for you uh, there's more out there for you uh, just listen to your intuition and it's okay to change your mind. Okay, bye. See you next year.